Oh, Peaceful, don't leave me. Oh, my life without you would be barren and empty, like a vacant house. Be... I'll take it. I haven't seen a vacant house in eight months. Oh, Peaceful, with your charm and grace and kindness, you've enslaved me. You made me a servant for life. Oh, all right, then you go out and loosen the saddle on my horse. Take heed, Peaceful. Don't spurn me, or I'll forget my love for you and turn into a biting, spitting wildcat. Oh, here, have a chew of my tobacco. But I don't want a chew of your tobacco. Go on, take it. If you're going to be a biting, spitting wildcat, you've got to have some practice. Oh, for you, you, you buttermilk Romeo. You make me so mad I could kill you. Careful, Niall, on Them fighting words. <laughs> and I ain't aiming to have no ruckus with no female woman of the opposite sex. You wouldn't... <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> Why, you wouldn't have dare shoot me. Well, of course not, if you was faster on the draw. Well, I'm faster than you. I can fill my hand with a six-gun in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that ain't all you can fill. <laughs> Careful, liar, stranger. I wouldn't talk like that to my gal like that if I was you like that. The Cucamonga Killer. Yeah, it's me. And I reckon no guy is going to get fresh with my gal, because I reckon I'll let him have it. I reckon I loves my little nylon, and I reckon I ought to put a stop to your ornery ways, I reckon. Oh, stop, you reckon the show. <laughs> you better be getting out of town, because the sheriff is a-coming in after you. I tippled him off. You mean tip, not tippled. Tippled, I've been drinking. Here, killer, a peaceful McMurray will take you apart. Oh, yeah? I'm tougher than he is. I steal, I rob, I kill. Do you rustle? Only when he wears taffeta the short. <laughs> All right, McMurray, sing him up. For his hair, Fuddly Dudley. <laughs> but peaceful, darling, I thought you outwitted the sheriff. I did. I threw a skunk across my trail and confused him. <laughs> Did you lose the scent, Sheriff? No, I lost McMurray. I won't lose the scent for a week. <laughs> Grab for the air, McMurray. Yeah, with you in here, I could stand a little. <laughs> well, let's go, McMurray. Tomorrow you hang. Hang? For shooting the man's teeth out? Oh, he's only pulling your leg. Yeah, and he wishes it was yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't hang, you're going to jail for life. Oh, oh don't leave me, peaceful, darling. I love you mad. Don't take him away from me, Sheriff. No, gal, I gotta go now, my beloved. Promise me you'll wait for me. I never realized before how much I love you. Come here and let me burn your lips with fiery kisses. <laughs> Listen, Sheriff. Seeing as how it's true love between them, take me instead of him. No, no, Killer, you can't do that. Don't forget, I'm a desperado, and I have a price on my head. Remember, I, too, am a desperado, and I, too, have a price on my head. What's the reward on them, Sheriff? Both heads have been marked down to $1.98. <laughs> Don't talk about my friend like that, you cud. You mean cad. Cud is something that's all chewed up. That's what he means. Wise guy, take that. Oh, You dry gulching snake, you killed my friend. Take that! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Take that! Ooh. And that! Ooh. Have you had enough? Yeah. Well, then help me get up off the floor. Hey, careful, Sheriff. You're upsetting the kerosene lamp. Hey, look out. The curtains are burning. Ah, the flames are spreading. Well, this is no time for petty differences, Sheriff. Hurry, run out to the saloon and warm everybody. Okay. I mean, warm everybody. Fire! Fire! Peaceful. Well, the sheriff stuck his head into the bar room and yelled, fire. Yes? And everybody did. <laughs> oh, Peaceful, you're wonderful getting rid of that crooked sheriff. Oh, you're not bad so bad yourself, baby. Let you and me get hitched, huh? You mean you're asking for my hand in marriage? Yeah, but remember one thing. What's that, darling? When I get your hand in marriage... The rest of you has got to go with it. Well, they say truth is stranger than fiction, and since you've had the courage to face that 
strange bit of fiction we just threw at you. The time has arrived and you must pay the consequences, as if that wasn't enough. And our next guest is just the man who can make you pay. That master of the Truth or Consequences program, Ralph Edwards. Hi, gang. Well, here we are with another little bit of Truth or Consequences for Mail Call. We have uh, three uh, very lovely contestants on our program this evening. Three very lovely ladies, as a matter of fact. Uh, hello. What is your name, please? Mrs. Cuneo. I didn't get it in there, was that? Mrs. Cuneo. Hello, Miss Cuneo. How's everything with you? Oh, fine. That's good. Wasn't that exciting hearing Fred McMurray and Yvonne DiCarlo? Very, very. I mean, didn't it just do things to you? Yes, did. I mean, when... <laughs> well, I don't mean that way, Mrs. What way do you mean? What? What way do you mean? Uh, the, the way that you thought I meant at the beginning. <laughs> uh, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it be interesting to meet Fred McMurray? I think it would. I mean, you, you, you've you seen him on the screen so many times. Yes. Meet him personally. Would, uh, what's that? I would like to meet him personally. She said it. You heard her say it. All right. <laughs> I, uh, how are you, Miss Snyder? Oh, just fine. What, what is your full name? Martha Denton Snyder. What's the middle name? Denton. D-E-S-U-N. From hitting people over the head or just yes. Denton? Coming up, right? <laughs> All right, Miss Snyder. How do you do? What is your name, please? Mrs. Cuneo. Oh, I got you, Miss Cuneo. I remember. <laughs> I was looking right through you. That's all right. There's three microphones here at Mail Call, and uh, Mrs. Cuneo is in the middle. Miss Snyder's over here by me, and way over on the third microphone is Mrs. Kahn. Is that right? Yeah. Hello, Mrs. Kahn. Kahn. What is your full name? Goldie. What's that? Goldie Kahn. Goldie Kahn is nice. Where are you from? From Chicago. Fine. What brought you out here? A train? Or... A train. That's right. Are, uh, have you seen Fred McMurray on the screen? Yeah. Have you, Miss Snyder? No. Oh, you have. <laughs> I got a customer for you, Fred. I, uh, come on, uh, m- maybe Mr. McMurray will come out. I know he, uh, th- that the ladies would like to meet him. I'm sure he'd like to meet the ladies. Uh, Fred, this is a lady who's never seen you on the screen. Why I can never? Do you ever go? I don't know why. Well, uh, well, I just know. <laughs> do you do you ever go to the movies, Miss Snyder? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Where, where do you go to the movies that you miss McMurray? He's playing on every corner. Oh, he is? Well, I didn't get on the corner. That's what he's <laughs> well, uh, this, uh, just a minute. Hello, Mr. McMurray. I didn't hear you. Miss Knight. Miss Knight, I'm happy to meet you. Yes, right. It's Miss, too. It's Miss, Fred. And this is... And Miss... 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 Yeah, and here's Mrs. Cuneo. Mrs. Cuneo, Fred McMurray. She's the one who originally started this whole thing about wanting to meet you. I have just been on this way lots of times. Well, yes. do you have something out there? Well, I don't know what you have enough. Yes. <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think of his acting on the screen? Oh, well, there, you didn't have it. Now, see that? I knew. I think. And, and over I there... I sat next to you at a moving picture one night. Yes, I did. You did? Oh, yeah. quite sure. What? I sat next to you at a moving picture. You did? Yes. Was it, what uh, let me get this in. Was it his picture? Was it his picture? No, it was him in person. Oh, well, I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Mrs. Kahn, Fred McMurray. How do you do, Mrs. Kahn? Hello. Isn't it exciting when you meet him like this? Oh, hi. This is my... <laughs> Thank you very much, Fred. Uh, this, uh, ladies are really thrilled. And uh, Dave Street and Yvonne DiCarlo. Would you like to meet Yvonne DiCarlo? Oh, sure. I, I mean, like it's something. Them. You'd like to see them all? All right. Is there anybody else in the audience who would like to know? Uh, Mr. DiCarlo, Yvonne, would you... Uh, uh, no howling in the audience, please, soldiers and sailors. Hello. This is Miss Snyder, Yvonne. I do. Nice to meet all of you. Yes, all of her? Yes, I know you're pleased to meet all of her. I'm pleased to meet all of you, she says. And this is Miss, uh, Mrs. Cuneo. How do you do? And uh, Mrs. Kahn. How do you do, Mrs. It gets more exciting if you... Any soldiers who would like to meet Mr. Carlo? <laughs> yeah! All right, sailor, come on up here real quickly and we'll let you... Not three of you, just one! Look out! Hold it! Hold that man! Did you win a hundred-yard dash? No, but I'm Look, i settle down here. It's all right here. What is your name? Bill Pike. What's your last name? Pike. Don't be silly. You're no Pike. You came running up there like... Um, uh, Yvonne DiCarlo, Bill Pike. <laughs> Say, how do you do? How do you do? That's all you get now. So long, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Carlo. Stick around, because some things are going to happen to the ladies, I think. Now, you're from Chicago. <laughs> yes, yes, well, are you married or happy? No, Mrs. Yeah, Cox. Yeah. All right. Now, um, I'm going to ask you a question. Miss it, and we shall have a little consequence. What is your occupation, Miss Snyder? I'm a retired teacher. 
Oh, you are, huh? I'm a school teacher. What did you do, run out of pupils? No, I have one or two yet. You do, really? Or the pupils ran out on you? What happened? No, oh, they didn't do that. Who are the two pupils you have left? Well, there was... Why are they left and how old are they? What's that? They go to the university. I'm private. Private lessons I'm giving them. Oh, Private Schneider. Glad to know you. I want you to meet Sergeant... <laughs> what, uh... I think that's wonderful, uh, Miss Schneider. What do you teach out there? Oh, uh, math and, uh, English. Oh, brother. That's where I would flunk. How do you, uh, Miss uh, Cuneo, what is your occupation? A retired housewife. I think that time the house was retired. Oh, retired. Yes. Well, uh, that's really, really fine. You live uh, with your family? My daughter. That's nice. Mrs. Kahn, what is your occupation, may we ask? Yes, sure. All right, what is your... <laughs> Thank 